Hello dear students good morning and welcome back to my another english video class hope you all will be keeping well students today i am going to take the chapter 5th of your class 11th english textbook hornbill and that is the ailing planet the green movement's role which has been written by nani palkiwala students if we discuss about the author nani palkiwala he was born in 1920 in mumbai he was an indian jurist and civil rights activist if we talk about the surname so the surname derives from the profession of his forefathers the parsis who had been the manufacturers of palanquins that we call today palkis okay and he was the most ardent defender of civil liberties guaranteed by the constitution if we talk about some of his famous books that he has written are law and practice of income tax taxation in india uh, we the people uh, we the nation etc so this is a brief introduction of the writer of this chapter now let's come to the introduction part of this chapter students as you all know that the planet where we live in the earth is how much affected the global warming by the overpopulation the deforestation so there are number of devastating causes which are responsible for the adverse effect of the planet now let's come and discuss in detail and try to know what is the introduction part so when you read this chapter you find that this chapter focuses on the causes that are responsible for the weakening health of this planet this chapter is an article which was published in the indian express on the november 23rd in the year 1994 in this article actually this chapter is an article and here the writer discusses about the green movement okay the writer also talks about how a zoo in zambia zambia, zambia, zambia is, is a country in south africa declared humans as the world's most dangerous animals okay can you believe the writer also focuses on overpopulation deforestation and what should be our responsibility towards the environment to protect it okay this all has been described in the chapter so now after this now let's move to the keywords and then finally we will summarize this chapter so here the keywords are of this chapter steward steward means manage or to look after okay if you are managing something or looking after that will be called steward reckon reckon means to calculate to estimate okay to compute that is what reckon the next word is languish which means lose or lack of vitality of a person or plant or animal okay and what do you mean by vitality vitality means strength or vigor now inter alia inter alia it's a latin word which means among other things okay is caused is caused means damaged or burnt by exposure to sunlight or heat that is what is caused then next word is impoverish impoverish means making something poor or to weaken in quality that is what impoverish the next word is procure procure means obtain with care and effort if something is being obtained with great care and effort is called procure anguish anguish means extreme pain or suffering okay that means anguish distort distort means deform or disfigure if you are distorting something that means you are deforming something or disfiguring something so these are some selected keywords of this chapter now let's move on to the summary of this chapter so students now let's try to understand this chapter through these important points in this chapter the writer raises an issue towards the deteriorating health of the earth okay as we all know that how the earth health is going to be declined and as human beings have been exploiting natural resources from decades and at present if we talk about the condition what we see the condition has made the environment critical okay the today's scenario is very much critical regarding the environment okay so in this way we can say that the earth is just like a patient okay Uh, whose health is declining and it's our duty to improve it let's come to the second point in 1972 the green movement helped environmentalist to raise awareness about the harmful condition of the earth and since then there has been no looking back as the movement has been successfully educating people about the conservation of the environment okay so this is the most important point that 
we see in this chapter that how uh, just because of the green movement the people are being educated uh, just for the conservation of the environment okay in 1987 the term sustainable development was used by the world commission and on for what it is for the environment and development okay sustainable development what what do you mean by sustainable development so it is termed as a type of development that meets the needs of the present generation without wasting or compromising with natural resources okay so that future generation can meet their needs okay. hope you understood what is sustainable development it is a development doing development without affecting or damaging the environment okay now let's move to some more points in the zoo at lusaka lusaka is the capital of zambia and zambia is the country of south africa so there is a case where the notice reads the world's most dangerous animal and there is no animal inside the case but a mirror okay where you see yourself students it clearly indicates that we human beings have turned into the dangerous animals okay in what form you understand it well okay if we move ahead to the next point of this article we see that there are four main biological systems that form the foundation of the global economic system and what are these these are fisheries grasslands forests and croplands students this system provides food raw materials for industries uh, except minerals and synthetics okay if this system become unsustainable students the day is not far away when the forest will slowly disappear okay the grasslands will uh, turn into barren lands and the crop lands will become worse okay so it is up to us how we protect it now look at the next point in poor countries forests are being cut down for fuel wood just for the cooking purposes there are some areas where the cost of fuel wood is more than the cost of food it is leading to deforestation at an alarming rate okay and this is not a good sign for all of us one of the reasons for the exploitation of the environment is the increasing population students i need not to say how the overpopulation is affecting all of us it leads to poverty it leads to unemployment so you know it well i need not to say much more this is not a good sign overall okay so we have to control over population anyhow and we have to take some more steps in this regard now come to the last point of this article we must see the world as a whole and not as dissociated parts only then the development of this world can be expected in a right way right according to lester brown what he says students try to understand we have not inherited the earth from our forefathers but we have borrowed it from our future generations in what sense he says why he says what does he mean to say try to understand grab it out and for more deeper sense just read this chapter and i'm sure you're going to get so much in this chapter okay so that's it for now take care and good day